Now there's a type of variable that we haven't spoken about which is the external variables or they're also called global variables. All this while we would declare variables within the function main or in the factorial program we had a variable i and a variable num within the function factorial. These are all called automatic or internal variables. Like I said, automatic or internal variables can only be seen by that particular block or function. Some other function cannot access the other function's variables. But external variables or global variables are different. They're not declared within any particular block or within any particular function. They are declared along with your hash includes or your function declarations. You can declare external variables. And these variables are global throughout the program which means they can be accessed from anywhere in the program. Let's look at an example. Let's quickly write include stdio.h. Let's say int main. Let's say I have a variable int var equal to 20. Say printf percentage d system pause and return 0. Now let's have a dummy function. Let's call it void func. So he does not return any value nor does he accept any arguments. So in this function let's say I say var plus equal to 100. So I'm changing the value of the variable var to 120. So before I print var, I call the function func. So if I say func func. Now let's see what happens to this program when I try to compile it. So as you can see it says in function func var undeclared first use in this function. So he does not know the variable var as it has not been declared within this function. He also has another er error which is implicit declaration of func was here. I haven't declared the function func either so I need to declare that. So I need to void func. Now the variable var has not been declared so for the function func I need to have another variable called var. Let's call it var and I initialize it to 0. So now in this function var is 0 so when I increment it by 100 the value is 100. So let's see what happens. So in main var is first 20 we call the function func var in the function func becomes 100, function func returns, now you print f var. Now this var is nothing but this variable which was 20 initially and it's still 20. The value of this variable has not changed as this variable stays within the stack space for the function main. When we call the function func, this function was added on top of the stack and Within his memory, another variable var was declared and that memory space was used. Let's look at our memory diagram again. First you have the function main in which you said int var equal to 20. So somewhere in the function main memory, you're allocating some space for the integer, calling it var and you've stored the number 20. Next you call the function func. So you add the stack for the function func on top. We call this func. Now here again you've declared a variable called var. So in his memory space again he's going to allocate space for var. And here initially var was 0. Then later you incremented var by 100. So var becomes 100 here. And finally, when this function finishes execution, this memory is all freed up. 
and the execution returns to main from here so let's say we called func from here so he ex so he reaches this point and continues execution from there so after this point we print the value of var so within this function main the value of var is 20 so he's going to print 20 isn't that simple so let's look at our program and let's compile it now there are no errors or warnings and you see 20 now let's make a slight change to this program instead of having local variables if i had not declared var he was giving a compiler error saying it's been undeclared so i'll remove both the declarations and i'll declare it outside any function int var and i would say it's equal to 20. In this case, the variable var is called a global or an external variable. He is not internal to any function here. So both the functions main and the function func can use that variable and they'll be referring to the same variable now. So let's say what happens now. We call the function func. He comes here. We increment the value of the variable var by 100. Var was 20 initially, you increment it by 100, it becomes 120. We return. Now he prints the value of the variable var. As we're sharing the same variable, it's a global variable and it's being shared by both the functions. Its value is 120 now. We print 120. There you go, 120. So as we had seen, External variables are declared outside of any function and they can be accessed by any function using its name.